Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be talking about how to become a Salesforce admin. A brief overview of what an admin does, what certifications to get, how the market of Salesforce admins is doing right now, and how to really up your resume so then your chances of landing a Salesforce admin job, even in a difficult market, can be increased. So what is a Salesforce admin? A Salesforce admin is someone who does all of the configuration pieces of Salesforce. So Salesforce is kind of broken into a few different parts. So you're going to have the users who are using Salesforce in their day to day for their specific job function. And then you have admins who are going to be people who are working on setting up those configurations. Things like fields for the users to input, then you'll have different automations that you'll want to put in place that admins can do. So things like if you have a lead that comes in from this one lead source, then you're going to want to route it to this person. So those are the types of automations that you can expect. Now you can make custom automations to your specific uh, business scenarios, but that's kind of what an admin does. And beyond an admin, you're going to find a developer and then consultants and architects. But let's just focus back in on the admin. So an admin is going to be more focused on setting up the system in a way that works with the business scenarios that doesn't require any code that will just be based upon what Salesforce likes to call clicks versus code. Salesforce has a lot of really awesome automation tools like flows that can be customized to help your business scenarios. And feel free, I have a video that I'll link down below about the top six daily tasks of an admin if you'd like to learn more about what an admin does on the day to day. So let's talk about how to become an admin. So one of the first things that you're going to need to do is get some certifications to show that you do know how to um, navigate around Salesforce as well as how to uh, do certain admin tasks within Salesforce. So the one that's going to be the most crucial is going to be the Salesforce admin certification. However, there is one recently released that is going to be before the admin certification that will help. This is going to be the Salesforce associate certification. So this associate certification is going to be like a step down from Salesforce admin. It's going to be a lot of how to learn Salesforce. What are the different tools from Salesforce that Salesforce has released that you can use? how to navigate around Salesforce, and some of the basic data model questions. So there is some crossover between the associate and the admin. The associate is a little bit easier than the admin because there's less questions and the questions are just structured a little bit easier. After you get the associate, you're going to want to move on to admin. So this certification is going to show that you are an admin and you know how to do admin tasks on Salesforce. So in the certification, you are going to show that you know the different automation tools, the different security tools, how to set up users, how to freeze users, and a bunch of other things that Salesforce admins should know. So now I do want to note that the admin certification is pretty difficult for a few reasons. It is your, one of your first certifications within Salesforce, and it covers a wide array of things within Salesforce, whereas other certifications would just focus on one aspect of Salesforce. So keep that in mind when you are taking the admin exam is that it is pretty tricky. So now while well, you could then go and look for an admin job after having those two certifications, that might be really difficult in today's job economy, uh, just because the entry level admin space is a little bit crowded right now, but that's okay. You can learn more about Salesforce and you can get more certifications to help improve your resume, as well as find Salesforce adjacent jobs to help you in that path. Other certifications that I would consider getting after you get the admin are going to be uh, the App Builder certification. And the App Builder certification really helps to understand where that line is between clicks versus code. Another one is going to be the Business Analyst certification, which I think is super useful. It teaches you how to ask questions, so then you are building the appropriate Salesforce solution. I don't like to say that any one certification will land you a job, but the more certifications that you have and the more knowledge that you have about Salesforce will greatly increase your chances of landing a job. But now let's talk a little bit about how to study for certifications. So certifications are really, really important because they show that you have knowledge within Salesforce and specifically, um, depending on what certification you're taking, you'll show that you have knowledge in this one specific area of Salesforce. So there are a lot of different resources that you can use when you are studying for Salesforce certifications. Trailhead is a great place to start when you are learning about the certifications and you're wanting to get a hold on what's going to be tested on those certifications. However, I don't think Trailhead is the be all end all of certification resources. And so I would look for some courses that can help you understand more 
what's going to be tested on the certification, help you understand how to think about the questions on the certification, and help you test those. So there are vast resources. I recommend that you have a video course as well as some practice questions to help you understand how well you are retaining the information. So a little plug for me, you can check out salesforceupskill.com. It's the company that my husband and I started to help you get certifications quickly. It has a video course, practice questions, it has glossary and notes to help you really understand the information that's going to be tested on the certification. We've helped over 10,000 people so far get certified. So that'll be in the description down below. Other resources, there are a lot of different YouTubers on here that will help you understand the different aspects of Salesforce, but it is a little bit more tricky on YouTube to search for specific certifications. What I would do is I would start learning and then when you have trouble understanding a specific concept like record types, then I would go into YouTube and type in Salesforce record types and then you'll be able to find a list of videos that'll help break it down. All right, let's go ahead and move into the current state of Salesforce. Salesforce in 2023, 2024, the market for newcomers is a little bit saturated. That doesn't mean I don't think that you can find an entry-level Salesforce admin job, but it does mean that I think you'll need to take a couple of extra steps when trying to get that Salesforce job. And it might take a little bit longer than you might see on YouTube, depending on when the content was coming out or on blogs. But let's talk about some of the steps that you can take to greatly increase your chances of getting a Salesforce job. One of the things that I think really helps is leveraging whatever job that you have and using ladder or a stair-stepping model to getting a new job and then using Salesforce and then leveraging up to another job with certifications and experience. So what does this mean? So let's say that you get the Salesforce Associate Certification, which is for people who use Salesforce somewhat and they know how to use it on a super user level basis. Not necessarily an admin, but not necessarily someone who's brand new. So what you could do is you could, with this Associate Certification, look for jobs with titles of revenue operations or sales operations where you're using Salesforce a little bit in your job, but it's not going to be your whole job. Um, you could also do this if you have the admin certification and you're having trouble finding an admin job. This will help you get some hands-on experience with Salesforce so then you can put it on your resume and hopefully increase your job in a year or two years or maybe even six months. Other job titles here might be a Salesforce IT help desk, which was personally my first job within Salesforce as a Salesforce admin. I know that there are customer service jobs where you are going to be using Salesforce. There are customer success jobs where you will be using Salesforce. So you could look for those ones as well. And then once you have the admin one, then you can look for the next job step up and then show that you have that experience and I, you know how to use the software that the company is looking for you to use. Another way to increase your chances of landing your first Salesforce admin job is going to be specializing in one area of Salesforce. So this could be using different sections of Salesforce, like understanding Tableau. Well, it isn't necessarily Salesforce. Salesforce does own Tableau. And so there are a lot of really awesome integrations between the two softwares. So that can really help you land a job moving forward as well as understanding certain clouds like sales cloud and getting the, the sales cloud certification or understanding service cloud or any of those specialty certifications that aren't just general admin or advanced admin or app builder can really help increase your chances. Now, moving beyond Salesforce, this could mean that you have non-Salesforce certifications. So specifically, this could mean Capato, which is a Salesforce adjacent tool. Like I mentioned before, you could use Tableau. You could have a certified Scrum Master certification, which is going to help you if you wanna go into more project management roles within Salesforce, or you could have other CRMs certifications like HubSpot to be able to integrate the two systems or help your company move from one system to the next system. Now let's talk a little bit more about other ways that you can show your skills and showcase your skills. This is going to be really important, especially in today's Salesforce job market, is to really show that you know. Um, and it's also great for networking, much like this YouTube channel, which is one of the ideas that I do have. So when you're showcasing your skills, you're going to be showing people that you understand some of the basics or you are able to create stuff within Salesforce. Um, this could be through LinkedIn, which is actually my number one recommended way that you do that because then hiring managers and recruiters can look at your profile and see, oh, they're talking about Salesforce and they're showing um, maybe this cool flow trick that they learned or they built a portfolio and they're sharing it on LinkedIn. That will increase your chances as well. Fun fact. I've gotten all of my Salesforce jobs through LinkedIn, and so I think it is extremely important for any tech job that you're going to have or any tech job that you're going for is LinkedIn to showcase your skills. Other ways that you can do this is going to be through blogs where you are showing something that you learned, 
You could do this through YouTube where you are explaining certain concepts through YouTube. You could do this through Twitter or X as it's called now. You could also create a portfolio which could be through any of these different means. But I think the key thing to do here is to share it out typically on LinkedIn and Twitter to help grow your network to hopefully be able to find a job then later on. Also one of the really awesome things is that you're helping other people within the ecosystem with their issues and their um, problems that they're trying to solve within Salesforce. So now let's talk a little bit more about after you have that first Salesforce job. Personally, I think, and a lot of other people on the ecosystem believe in always upskilling or always working towards another goal within your career. So this means going beyond just your entry level admin job and learning more about Salesforce and showing that you learn more about Salesforce. This helps to boost your job title, your pay, all sorts of things. So how do you do this? So going beyond admin, what you should do is you should be taking those skills that you are learning in your admin job and then working towards a certification that matches that. So let's say you're working towards a service cloud implementation. So here we're talking about using cases, we're talking about using knowledge and understanding those tools. So now you could take that service knowledge that you're using in your day-to-day -day job and study for the service cloud certification. So then you can show that you understand more about service cloud. So this could go for sales cloud or this could go for experience cloud, really any part of your job that you are doing that relates to another certification. I personally think that you should be working towards that certification. So then you can show that you are continually growing and you are learning more about Salesforce. This can also mean that you are getting certifications that are Salesforce adjacent. So like I mentioned before, you could get Tableau certifications, you could find CSM, Capato, Conga are all certifications that you could get that are Salesforce adjacent, that you show that you are continually learning and you can use those to leverage yourself into a, a better paying job or even just a better job. Maybe it's for work-life balance or whatnot. So kind of wrapping up this section about going beyond admin, admin is a really great launching pad to becoming really awesome in other roles of Salesforce. Once you understand admin and once you really can hone in on your admin skills, then you can become a really awesome uh, business analyst. You can become a really awesome developer, architect, uh, consultant. And even if you wanted to go beyond Salesforce, you could go into more management roles or you could go into other Salesforce adjacent roles if you wanted to. So I guess kind of the whole point of this section is always be learning, always be improving because Salesforce changes a lot and you might as well use it to your advantage. All right, let's go ahead and mention some concerns I get a lot of LinkedIn messages and a lot of comments on my videos about some of the concerns about the current Salesforce market and other things about being a Salesforce admin. The first concern I usually get is, is the market too saturated? This is really going to depend. For entry level admin, I think it is a little bit saturated, but don't let that deter you. The market will even out on its own. Salesforce jobs are going to increase a lot over the next few years. And so there will be room for you to find an admin job or to find a Salesforce job, whether it's an admin or it's going to be a Salesforce analyst or a Salesforce business analyst or any of these things, you will find a Salesforce admin job. You'll just need to implement some strategies to help you find that job. So things like showing your knowledge through LinkedIn, blogs, YouTube, getting certifications, um, using Salesforce in a job to show that you do have Salesforce job experience, like maybe being IT help desk or through being sales operations or revenue operations or marketing operations, something that uses Salesforce. So is the market saturated for new admins? Yes, but always be learning, always be growing. However, the further up, the further up the Salesforce food chain that you go, it gets less saturated. So if you are a developer um, and you have some experience, it is a lot less saturated than the entry-level developer market or the entry-level admin market. Same for senior admins, same for uh, architects. So try to gain knowledge and start working towards um, those further goals and you'll find a less saturated job market. But do get experience because job experience is the number one thing that'll help set you apart. So the next concern is, will getting the admin certification you land me a job? Well, that really depends on a lot of different factors that um, it's really hard for me to know making this video in my basement if you have these. Do you have relevant experience being an admin? Then that will help. Do you have other certifications that can go along with Salesforce that can boost your chances like those certifications we previously talked about? That will help. Do you have um, some Salesforce adjacent experience or have you worked with Salesforce even at a user level, that will help. Do you have a degree 
that will help. Um, I don't like to say that getting the admin certification will 100% land you a job because it, it really depends. It also depends on how well you are at interviewing, what the job market is in your specific location, if you're going for a remote job or whatever type of job you're going for within the Salesforce ecosystem. So it really just depends. Really how to boost your chances are to um, do the things that will increase your your visibility within the job market do the things that will help you boost your knowledge about salesforce and really sharing out that you know your salesforce those things will help you land a job so the final question that i get a lot is do i need a degree well this depends um, some jobs will require it others won't one thing is that there's a huge disconnect generally between IT jobs and having a degree. It helps to check a box for HR that they do have a four-year degree from a school. So if you do have a four-year degree, it, you might be hired on because you just have that one more check mark than someone else who had the same certifications as you, but didn't have a degree. Generally, you don't need to have a degree to do a Salesforce job just because of the skills. I don't think that there are a lot of skills that you learned in a four-year degree that will help you in your Salesforce job, unless of course you are getting a business degree, which can help you understand business scenarios somewhat better, or you are getting a computer science degree or a software engineering degree, which will actually help you when you if you are wanting to go into a more developer role so getting a degree it can help you in some circumstances you don't need it but it might be more difficult for you to find a job if you don't if you live in the us um this is a pro tip for you i really recommend wgu that's where i got both uh, my undergrad and my graduate degree and it's a self paced program and it's a competency-based model which helps you go through to your degree program just a little bit faster. Um, so if you are in the United States and you don't have a degree, I would look into that um, and it is a lot cheaper. And if your job helps to pay for tuition assistance, that would be the best. But if you have any more questions about being a Salesforce admin, what that means, how to become a Salesforce admin, I would love to um, answer your questions down below. Sometimes it's hard for me to get back to people, but I will try and do my best. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you like this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.